hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about layering and my top tips on how to keep yourself looking chic and nice and keeping your outfit looking cool while still being super warm. Now I know it's really difficult to sometimes find layers to wear underneath your outfit whilst still being able to wear the outfit you want to wear there's nothing worse than having to change something just because you feel bulky and you don't want to feel bulky when it comes to layers you want to feel comfortable and warm but in the right way obviously everyone's different like you might be someone who gets quite cold the next person might be someone who gets quite hot over like a period of time maybe they do feel quite warm at times maybe you're someone who just like feels the cold instantly everyone's different so when it comes to layers you have to kind of suit them to suit you and what you know will keep you warm um so i'm going to show you guys how i layer and keep it very simple whilst keeping warm throughout the colder days depending on the day will depend on how many layers you might wear but for a general cold day this is what i wear and this is what i would recommend wearing under your clothes and i'll give you tips along the way on how you can keep it simple and change things depending on what you're wearing or what you're styling up to make it work with your outfit. I'm gonna start off with the base layer. Now, obviously base layers change depending on the outfit, depending on how cold you get, etc., etc. But when it comes to winter, I always, always stick to this kind of same base layer, especially on the top because I tend to wear more layers on the top. So it's nice to stick to something really, really simple and quite streamlined as well. So I've gone for a vest top. You don't have to do a vest top, you could do a t-shirt. But I tend to wear a vest top because it kind of keeps you more warm. It's hugged to the body, which again is great if you're wearing something a little bit more form-fitting and you want something that's going to almost sculpt your body rather than feel baggy or bulky. A vest top is a really good one to go for. I just have these from summer, so I just reuse the ones I have in summer. And I like to go for more of a longer vest top so you can tuck it into your base layers or your trousers or whatever you're wearing and it will stay in place. Um, you could wear a bodysuit if a bodysuit's something you like, but I tend to find them a bit faffy. Um, so I always start with a vest top. This one is from weekday, um, and I would usually tuck it into my leggings, which I'll show you in a minute, um, so that it like sits flat against my body when I go to put the next layer on. So vest top is always a good place to start. And then for the base layer of my legs, I always, always go for a pair of thermal leggings. Now these ones I'm wearing, I can't fully see them, but they are full length leggings. And these are from Primark. They're just a pair of thermal leggings. I've had these for years. They're great. They're essentially just like slightly thicker than your average jersey legging. Um, almost like a workout legging, but not workout leggings. Um, designed specifically for wearing as layers. Um, and these are great. These are definitely warm. They definitely add that warmth to an outfit when you're layering over the top um, and definitely keep everything in like I've got socks on so the socks are keeping like all the air out there's no air getting in obviously I've got my arms out right now but when we add extra layers you're not going to have any air getting in which is the main thing that you want to remember when layering everything needs to be locked into place so no air can get in and this definitely does that these leggings are great because you can wear them under everything when it comes to layers and wearing base layers especially on your bottom half you want to make sure that everything's quite streamlined and close to the body so that when you are putting layers over the top there's no like awkward bumps or you know bunched up fabrics you just don't need that so that's why having like a vest top like this that can tuck in flat is really really good this one's like a thin ribbed material but you could get something that's a bit more smoother and softer which will probably also sit quite flat on the body but as you can see there's no bulkiness which makes it so much easier if you are maybe thinking oh, i don't really want something too thick but i need an extra layer you can wear tights or i have these um like footless tights which are also really good so if you're wearing something that is maybe a bit more tight to the body you don't really have a lot of give you've not really much room for a layer underneath a pair of tights or a pair of footless tights are a really good way of like adding that warmth without adding too much bulkiness i think tights are a really good way of adding that layer as well but it doesn't feel too thick and if you're wearing something like a tight pair of trousers or maybe you're wearing, um, I don't know, like a longer skirt, but you want something that's not gonna feel too bulky. A pair of tights or footless tights are really good. Again, I got these from Primark. 
Primark is the place to go. Also, if you're wearing something like a skirt or a longer skirt, and you're maybe thinking, oh, I kind of don't want to have my legs on show, you can wear like um, cycling shorts or anything like that that also keep you warm. But usually, if you're going to go for layers, you want something that covers your whole leg. Um, and tights, again, are something that you can definitely do that with. If you're someone who's like, I struggle sometimes with jeans being too tight around my tummy when I wear leggings like this. So I might opt for tights, which are really, really thin, but do add that layer of warmth that you need. The next layer is a long sleeve top. Now, I always wear a long sleeve top under my jumpers, knits, anything in the winter time. Might forget the vest, but I always do a long sleeve top. This one is from Adenola. And the reason why I thought I'd show you this one is because it's really, really tight fitting. As I said before, if it's more streamlined, it doesn't feel bulky and it doesn't look bulky. So this one from Adenola is like perfectly sculpted to my body. So I'm not having that issue of any like clumpy bumps of clothing. Everything is just streamlined and straight and tight to the body, which is what you want to stop any outfit looking too weird or looking like you're wearing layers. You want to have an outfit underneath that hides the fact you're wearing layers so no one has to know and this one's great any long sleeve top is good you don't need to go out and buy anything that you already have um but it's better to keep it tight and if it's a little bit loose at the bottom tuck it into your leggings or tights and it will keep it flat and straight which is what you need um this one is really nice because it's a little bit thicker if you're looking for something that's going to really keep you warm look for slightly thicker fabrics rather than those thinner ones a few tops that i have which i'll show you now are these ones from uniqlo you guys know i love uniqlo and i wanted to just show you them because they're probably the best tops i own the tops i wear the most whilst i'm wearing this adenola one right now for the most part i'm wearing one of these uniqlo do like an array of different like um thicknesses of their long sleeve tops which means depending on how warm you want to be or how cold you get you can pick whatever one suits you and what suits your situation so this one's like the thinner one that's like um, one that you could wear no matter the weather if it warms up a bit if it's colder it's a really really good one the heat tech stuff is just chef's kiss so this one is one of the tops I wear the most it's slightly thinner I'll wear it over my vest top and this and then a jumper and usually I'm fine so these ones are amazing then we have the slightly thicker one this is like essentially almost the same thickness as this top I'm wearing right now slightly thicker um, and has that extra warmth whilst not being too bulky again i wear this one quite a lot as well i literally alternate these tops because i wear them all the time and this one's really good for adding that little bit of extra warmth if it's super cold out if it's like five degrees or below this one's really good over the uh vest top because it adds that tiny bit more warmth but for the most part they do pretty much the same thing this last one is more of like a thicker almost like a long sleeve t-shirt top kind of vibe rather than an under layer base top um this one is like a slightly more softer it's a little bit thicker you could wear it more as a top if you wanted to over the long sleeve tops you're already wearing um one thing to note with long sleeve tops that you're wearing underneath um jumpers and stuff make sure you keep an eye out for the necklines i always tend to stick for a round neckline or like more of a scooper crew neck because that way no matter what jumper you're wearing you won't be able to see it this one is quite high so great if you're wearing more of a roll neck or a higher neck jumper if you're wearing something that's a little bit more lower or it's a rounder neck make sure your vest tops and your um long sleeve tops have that round neck to stop them from poking out the top that way no one's going to see them equally if you want the top to show that's great but with the vest top and the long sleeve top make sure the necklines aren't like both at the same point you want them to be slightly different so that they don't feel bulky around the neck next layer that i'm going to add is these jeans i tend to wear jeans a lot in the winter so always tend to go for jeans trousers anything you want you can do um but just to show an example and put on jeans and as you can see i mean these jeans are baggy so you can't really see much difference which is good for my style because you can't really tell but if you're someone who is wearing tighter things you probably won't be able to tell just make sure that whatever you're wearing is all tucked in so then you can't really tell what's underneath but as you can see the jeans look pretty much exactly the same on um with the layers underneath and with without so i really like the way this kind of sits and like i said the tops tucked into the jeans so you can't really tell that anything so you probably can't even tell that i'm even wearing leggings right now so that is the next layer the third layer depending on how cold it is out will depend on whether you wanted to add an extra layer for the purpose of this video i am going to add another layer and then a jumper over the top obviously depending on what jumper you're wearing 
what sweatshirt you're wearing, will depend on whether you feel like you need an extra layer and what coats you've got, etc, etc. Um, but for the sake of the fact that it's been really, really cold recently, this is a really good way of showing you guys what you can wear underneath jumpers and keep less bulky. So this one I just showed you from Uniqlo, I'm just going to pop on over the top. Um, this one is a little bit looser, which I think is quite key. If you're going to add an extra long sleeve top over the ones you're already wearing, make sure the third one, the third layer, is a bit looser because then it will feel a little bit more comfortable on the body and won't feel too restricted. Obviously this is if it's super cold, for the most part you probably won't need this, but for the sake of this video I just thought I'd show how it will look with the rest of the outfit. As you can see, the neckline is lower than the gray neckline that I've got here, so it shouldn't be too bulky around the neck when I add the jumper. Um, but yeah, you could tuck this one in if you wanted to, but also it depends on what look you're going for. If you're going for more of a tucked in look, you might wanna tuck it in, but I'm not going for that look, so I've just left it out and it feels comfortable. My arms do feel like quite warm at this point because it's two layers on there but usually I probably wouldn't have two layers, but yeah, that is that. For the actual outfit part of the layers, I've gone for this jumper. This is from Naked. You can't actually tell that I've got three layers underneath this. Um, you guys know this, but most people won't be able to tell. Um, and it's, I feel really, really warm. My arms feel warm, my body feels warm. Like the only thing that doesn't feel warm right now are my hands. Um, and everything is like, I feel like I've got a lot of layers on, but as you're looking at me, you can't tell that I've got loads of layers on, which is the whole point of this video and what we wanted. Um, so I love the way this looks. Also, the neckline here is quite high, so you can't see the grey uh, top underneath, which is exactly what I wanted. But if I had like more of a lower neck, I would probably have gone for the like lower round neck long sleeve top. When it comes to socks and keeping your toes warm, my key top tip is to wear two pairs of socks. You guys probably already know this, you probably already do this, but the best way to do it, so again your feet don't feel too like stuffy and like stiff, is to wear a thin pair of socks and then like a thicker pair of socks. So I tend to go for like more of a thin classic jersey crew sock, is that what they call them? I don't know. Um, and then over the top, so I've currently got on a pair of sports socks, so I probably would wear like a thinner sock underneath. But if you've got a thin sock, any sort of trainer sock will do. Then add a pair of like thicker socks or knitted socks. These ones are from Uniqlo. Any type of thicker sock will be perfect, but wear two pairs, but make sure they're different in textures and like thicknesses, because then your feet won't feel so stuffy, especially when you're going to put your feet into your shoes. You don't want to feel like you're wearing 10 pairs of socks. You want to feel like you've got a thick pair of socks on so make sure you start with like a thinner layer and then go over with a thicker layer like a knitted sock or a sports sock obviously the next layer to go for would be a coat um i'm just going to pop this one on this is quite a heavy weighted coat so obviously right now i'm showing you how i would dress for a cold cold day um and this coat is quite heavy weighted so it's adding that extra warmth um, any coat will do. I tend to think that if it's a really cold, cold day, the longer the coat, the more warmer your body will stay. If you're wearing a shorter coat, your bottom half isn't going to be as warm. So if it's a really, really cold day, it's best to wear something like a longer coat because it will keep the majority of your body warm. But obviously if you don't have that, you don't feel the need to go out and buy a long coat. But a long coat will definitely keep you warmer than a shorter coat. A shorter coat that you could go for would be a puffer coat or something like that that's got the warmth, the extra layers. Let me show you one. So this puffer is from North Face. It's just a really lovely coat. Obviously super warm because it's a puffer. Um, and this one's slightly longer rather than cropped, but still will keep you warm because it's got that thickness. Um, but if you're someone who does get really, really cold, I think it's best to stick to a longer coat. Depends on where you are, depends on the situation, depends on what you're dressing for. Um, but a puffer is a really, really good option if you don't have a longer coat. And I think that you can obviously add extra layers if needs be. Um, but yeah, I would usually stick to a longer coat if it's a really chilly day. Now we need to add a scarf. Now scarves, you can go for whatever you want, whatever type of scarf you want. Most of them do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to pop on this Uniqlo one. Um, the main reason being is it's a really good one to wrap around twice. Sometimes I'll wear my scarves like this, but they don't really, it's more of a fashion way of doing it. They don't really necessarily keep you super warm. This one from Uniqlo is quite long, so I can actually wrap it round 
um, properly and keep it sitting really nicely, which is what you want when it comes to a scarf. You want to make sure it stays and it's going to keep you warm. This one I love. You can obviously tuck it into your coat if you wanted to. Um, depending on the thickness of the scarf will depend on like how cosy and warm it's going to keep the heat in. Um, I tend to go for a scarf like this or something slightly thicker. You could buy into a really nice scarf, which is a really good thing to do because scarves you need every single year so um finding a nice scarf is definitely important i tend to stick to something a little bit more neutral based or even like not cream because you can see makeup and whatnot on it so this probably isn't the best option but to show you it works um any sort of thickness of scarf will work and will do the job but make sure you have one that you can wrap around and really really keep warm with because then your neck won't get cold obviously if you're wearing a roll neck you'll be fine but um this way you won't get cold. Then you want to add a hat. If you don't like a hat, you don't need to buy a hat, you don't need to wear a hat, but I'm going to pop a hat on just to show you. This definitely isn't my favourite hat, but it works with the outfit, so we're going to roll with it. Um, this one is quite a thick one from, I think it's from weekday. Um, I tend to always go for something that's a little bit thicker when it comes to beanies because they add that extra warmth. And fun fact, if you didn't know this, you probably do, but you lose a lot of heat through your head. So it's actually quite important to wear a hat when you're out in the cold. The best thing to do if you don't want to wear a scarf is to wear a hat or wear a hat and not a scarf if you don't want to do both. Um, but make sure that you wear a hat. You can wear any hat. You don't necessarily need to wear a beanie. You can wear a cap. You can wear a bucket hat. You can wear anything. Even if you want to wear earmuffs, again, a really good thing to keep your ears warm. Sometimes what I tend to do if I'm out and about and it's cold is wear headphones because they will also keep your ears warm. So you won't deal with that like freezing cold ear situation, which nobody wants, especially if you have your hair up because that is just the worst. Um, but a hat will definitely keep a lot more heat in than you realise. So try to opt for a hat where you can. And if you don't want to do the double situation, definitely stick to the hat over the scarf. But again, depends on what you're wearing, depends on the situation, um, and it depends on how cold it is, because you might find that you don't need to wear a hat or you get really hot. Um, sometimes I do find when I'm wearing both, I get really, really hot and I have to opt for taking off the hat because then the air can get out and the heat can be released. Um, but yeah, always try to stick for something that's quite warm that will cover over your ears, that's a little bit thicker. A thicker hat will definitely add more warmth than like a thinner hat um this one tends to be one i often gravitate towards because it's thicker and it does cover my ears so no cold is getting in which is the main thing the last thing to add to your outfit to keep you warm is gloves i think that we all probably own a pair of gloves and we all have them in our pockets of our coats because who doesn't i literally just pull these out of the coat pocket um these ones are from uniqlo they're just a really lovely cashmere glove um i absolutely love them simple brown colour, go with everything, keep my fingers warm. The only thing they don't do and they don't have within them is for me to be able to use my phone. So that is kind of annoying, but it's fine. They're gloves, they do the job, they keep you warm and I always have them in my pocket. I literally always keep them in my coat pocket so that when I'm going out, they're always there. Uh, but you don't need to spend a lot of money on gloves, you can buy them from Primark. Usually my gloves come from Primark and they do exactly what they need to do. So always have a pair of gloves on you. For keeping your hands warm if you don't like gloves or you use your phone a lot or you're out and about using your hands you can get like um what do you call them like hand warmers hand warmer gloves where you can still use your fingers but my hands get very very cold so i always need gloves and uniqlo do do really good gloves but anywhere does good gloves it depends on what you want to go for you can go for leather gloves if you want but that's not really my vibe so just go for a knitted one and you'll be sorted so those are all of my tips that i have to share with you today about layering depending on your outfit it obviously will alter what you choose to wear and what you choose to layer up with but i always tend to keep it quite the same like no matter what i'm wearing i might switch up the top slightly or the jumper slightly or the scarf or the hat to make it suit whatever situation I'm going for. But for the most part, I do tend to stay pretty warm in this situation and don't actually tend to freeze. Sometimes get a bit hot, which is not ideal, especially when you're on the tube. But hopefully this helped you guys. And if you want any more videos like this that might help you along with styling, do let me know in the comments. And I will see you all in next week's video. Bye.